after picking the ties i think this is why i usually keep my ties so today i'm going to pick one for a table and i'm going to pick this for a table okay. the tie is supposed to wash you have to, supposed to wash it because you have to make sure it's well washed because we are going to use it and people are going to use it in their living rooms and so on so you have to make sure the tie is properly or thoroughly washed that is how it's supposed to be so as you can see the tie is well washed now i'm done i finished washing it you know the tie is well washed it's clean i'm done with it so right now the next step is the design design will depend on you how you are going to make it beautiful everything will depend on you because we have so many so many so many types and what i'm coming to do right now is a table we have so many types of doing the table but this type i'm going to use the shells uh, uh, stone type yeah we call it stone type stone type i'm going to combine small stones from the seaside and in the seashells i'll do that one and then do different one also so for those people who don't have the shells or the stones or whatever around them i think they can also get other alternative on how they can make the tie so nice and beautiful okay before you start you have to come with your own design with your own design how you are doing, going to decorate it you have to come with your own design just to make it nice lovely and beautiful we are going to use these shells from the seaside i picked this from the seaside i think this is some also here and this is the stones also we are going to combine them just to make the work very nice neat and looking very beautiful so that is what i'm going to do this is glue it is glue any form of glue so mostly like i said the shells this is my own design so this is how i do it we trace it so you first have to create the design first so as you can see i've created it here the same thing it over here so after i created design then you trace it up with the shells they use the glue uh, some people use bone glue yeah you can use that one a uh, uh, how do you call it gun glue a uh, gun glue too you can use it i think that one also can also work but personally i use glue normal glue this i created the design with the other video as you can see i created the design first then I trace it with the seashells, this type of seashell, the white one, and I repeated it. So after you are done with the other side, the rest is only stones. You just be filling it with stones. When you get to the other side too, you create the same design. You know, I combine two, two designs, the white and the, the brown, the brown color. So after finishing the, the setup, this is my setup. So you first have to finish with the design that you've created. You, you make sure you finish with it so i created this first i created the second and then the other one it was four you know i divided it into two from the other previous video you can see it over there after that the rest is stones you just be filling it with stones for example like this oh uh, you feel it you put this uh, you put the glue on the uh, on the tie before you put the stone on top of it like this then you put a glue at the side the side the side so that to make it strong yeah so that is what i did step by step step by step step by step the same thing applicable to this 
the same thing applied to this that is what i did after finishing with it you see that some the stones some are big as you can see the big stones so when you are done with the big stones you see the small small you see that it, the, uh, there's good After you are done you know you have to cover this side the same thing applicable to the other one the other side so we have the top and we have the down by way of doing it you have to measure end to end so my end to end here is s22 so 22 before you can get a round shape of 22 you have to bisect it by dividing it into two Another 22 is inches. Remember, it's 22 inches. You have to divide the 22 into 2, which is 11. So you are going to use your compass and open to 11 inches. Then you take it round shape, round. After that, you are going to use a machine that we call a jigsaw to cut it. Same after taking the measurement of, of that, uh, the 22. You have supposed to cut the one, then you get a 22 sheet. I've already cut it, but I want to demonstrate to you how I managed to cut that. Assuming this is the shape or this is what we've marked, you put it at the edge, then you cut the round shape. So for example, let's take this for example. Assuming if this was a part of the, the round shape, let's assume it. I've already cut it, so that is why I have it already. But I want to demonstrate it here, how it's being cut. So if this, this is where you are going to start from, to cut the round shape, we assume this is where we are going to start from. What we are going to do and make sure that you cut it round until you get your round shape finish cutting the round shape you know we have top and down at times on my own design mostly the top i did i have something i design something in the middle inside the middle i have something to design i design something you know to make my work nice beautiful and unique because we have people out there who have, who have also been using the tie to do other things. So to make your own unique from the others, you have to add something features, something unique to it. So that your work uh, will be different from theirs. So mostly that is what I've been doing. And I'm going to do that how I usually do it. This is the other plywood from the, for the down and this is the top. So first, I'm going to tackle the top. Then... I'll finish, then we, we continue with the down. So, you see this shape, I have this shape also. I have this. This is my center, already from the beginning, this is my center. This was a center, I opened a radius of 11 to get a 12 shape. So I have the center already. I want to create another shape also over here. But that, that measurement it will depend on me if i want it to be short i'll get it if i want it to be long depend on how i want it so this is where i came with a, 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 a dimension from this side to the other side i don't have a measurement for it but i think that is my own this is the compass i've been using so i open it here then i have it there because of my own you know measurement i don't have actual measurement for it but it was for my own dimension so i open it there then circle it round so that is what i did to get to arrive this circle you know and after getting this circle i want to take this circle out out from it and by way of doing that my this machine cannot enter and take this out so i have to create a, a, a small hole so that the the edge of the machine which is this so will enter then i'll come i'll be able to cut that round 
So I think that is what I'm going to do right now. So I use a machine that we call drilling machine. This is my drilling machine. This is my drill machine to drill the wheel. After drilling it, then I put my my saw inside. Like it. When you are cutting it, you have to control it. You can't cut it straight. So you have to use your hand to make sure you control the machine. If not, the machine will go straight. So any shape, it takes any form of shape. You can cut any form of shape. Depending on you, because you have to control the machine. The machine will just go straight. So you should know the particular shape that you are creating. This one created a round shape, so I cut it in a round way. So you have to control it. You have to cut it in the sense that you'll be able to burn it. So you see, if there's a plywood, most if you're going to cut this, you don't you don't cut it straight. This is positive, this is negative. So because you are going to burn it, you have to cut it from the negative angle so that you'll be able to burn it. I'm still working on my top. Uh, the top. Uh, that is the top. I'm still working on it. So this, this, this is what I cut earlier on. I'm coming to use this. I just finished cutting this. This is two inches. That is my own measurement. I don't know you could you can also use three inches, two and a half, and so on. But this is my own measurement. This is two inches. I cut it from this side. I use a machine, the jigsaw machine, to cut it. I'm going to sandpaper it to, to make it look smooth. Like like what like this. This will have some paper so you can see it's smooth. I'm going to do the same thing over here also. I'm going to smooth it. After that, you see my this sticker. Yeah, that is a paper sticker. I'm going to use it on top of it so that it will look nice and beautiful. like I was saying you see what I have done yeah it just it's a matter of making it nice and beautiful you understand but the competition out there it top there are a lot of people who are also using the tie to do a lot of things so you have to create more design to make your own beautiful I can decide not to bring this 
you understand? I can decide not to bring it. It doesn't change anything. But I just want it to look beautiful. That is why I insert that thing inside. So as you can see, and you can see some gold uh, paints here. I'm going to paint all this place, all the edge. I'm going to paint the place, spray that place gold color. Oh, uh, it doesn't mean anything. Just to make the whole product nice and beautiful. Okay, if you use it, if you use the tap screw to pass through this hole, it will come out like this. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to put it on top of it like this. Then you put your uh, your screwdriver here. You put a screwdriver on this hole. Then you tight it. You put a screwdriver here. Good. Then you tie. The, the the tap screw yeah we are going to screw it inside and that is what we are going to do to the other one and then the other side so that if you do it like that you will not see any nail or any screw work here you see so people may doubt it how you manage to join the two that is one secret people will, will doubt it so that is what we are going to do now now we are we are almost done almost almost done so we have to join this to the tie we have to join this top to the tie by way of doing that you see this we call it glass holder that is how i call it i don't know actual name for it because i use it to hold a glass so mostly i call it glass holder i don't know others how they call it you see this is three one two three and if you go to market they are in pair with you are in four you get four pieces but i use only three because the legs are three so i use three so each leg will take one so as you can see for example you can see the leg the down leg matches with the top so that is what i did to the rest after that you use the touch screw this is a touch screw you need it to pass through you see when it pass through there is this other side I mean, I, my boys have not come here so i'm using one hand so you who don't place come in okay if you use it if you use the tap screw to pass through this hole it will come out like this so this is what we are going to do we are going to put it on top of it like after this. everything you see i i show how you to tight this how to tie the top through here by putting the top screw inside and you screw it after that you see after you finish you have to fill those small 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 holes you have to fill it those small small ones here yeah. you have to fit those small 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 ones so you can see this is a, a, a something i decided to spread this side good just to make it nice so after that i'll polish so i'm done i think everything this is everything i'm done with everything it's now with polishing so i think uh, you saw it right away from the beginning to the end the rest is how you you make it nice and make it more beautiful it's up to you the rest is how creative you are by the procedure we have done with the procedure and everything the rest is how you are going to make it more nice so i'm going to polish so that to look more nice and beautiful this is the gold i spray the gold i decided to spray this side gold just to make it nice something like that yeah so after this i'll do the material one so those people who are not close to where they can get the clothes uh, where they can get the, the stones at least when you have any cloth or any material or anything at all you can still do the table without mostly this is the type of legs that we have in the market in our market we have the short one like this followed by this one we have uh, this also type and then we have the long type it depends on the type of size that you want you understand it will depend they are in the market 
all the day in the market it will depend the type of side that you want and it's this is the down i'm going to use this side as down this is the other plywood just that i have used the black leather to cover it up i just i i use the black leather to cover it and this is the type of legs that we have in town so it depends on which one that you think you can easily get access to the one that you think you can easily get access to that is what you are going to use so we have this like i said we have the small type we have the long and then the five inches so it depends you can decide to use either so currently i'm going to use the the black one this is this is what i'm going to use i chose black because the down is the black so i decided to use the black this is how my my down that is the legs the down the down side this is how the setup is going to look like you can see it is three if you buy them from the market it is four we have four legs but i use three i use three because uh, uh, the three can also let it stand it can make it strong and at least i can have access to the remaining one i'll add another one also you know until it, it's makes three i can also use it for another product but because it's, it's a, a table i use three i use four for a chair and use three for a table you see table you don't sit on it on and no much pressure on it so mostly i use the ring and before you nail it or before you screw you screw here you screw here and that the same thing applied to the other side and before you do that you see i have the three legs and you have supposed to measure and make sure they are in three they are in that pair they are in they're supposed to be in that pair so as you can see the three is supposed to be in pairs so that it's it's it matches if not I don't mean you finish and one leg is it's 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 how do you call it it's tough or it's longer than the either so this is how it do I will to make sure that the measurement from the one point to the other is the same thing from the other side to the other so that is what we are going to do and we are going to screw there you screw inside so as you can see after the polish i finished polish and you can see how nice how beautiful how shining it is as you can you can see that yeah it's looking shiny yeah so the next step is you see this something like this i'm going to remove only three of it three like this and I'll put it inside this and put this there. Put another one also. The beauty of it is, is it's easy when you put the glass on top, it will not shift. So this holds the glass. At first, I used to drill the glass, but people have been complaining because of small things, the, 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 the glass will break into pieces. So since then, I don't drill the glass anymore. I use this. I drill it and use this put this one inside and there we go so now I'm done with everything what's left is a matter of putting this inside this hole we are putting only the as this aspect only the small aspect so I remove I will remove the the metal see the thing so I'm going to put this one there I'll push it, it will enter. So that is what I'm going to do now. Then the final aspect, it I just I just finished with it. It's 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 quite nice. Why not? Why? It's yeah. I just finished right now. It's cool. The other time I was saying that for those people who are not closer to the sea, that will let them use the, the stones or the seashells. You know, we have other fabric or leather, you can use it. Any form of anything. So I'm coming to use that one also. Assuming this is a tie, we just picked, we, we've washed everything, everything is clear. Now the next thing we have to do is that you have to apply foam, a smooth foam. 
but I personally I use a, a half inch foam that is what I've been using so that is what we are going to use right now I'm going to measure from here from this side to the other from here to the other then you foam it round I'm going to foam here round we foam it because I don't want somebody touch it the person not supposed to feel any hard thing any hard object the person is supposed to feel something smooth something soft on it that is why we foam around so that when somebody touch it it doesn't look hard okay you see this is how you, you are going to foam it this is a half inch I'm talking about this is a half inch so you are going to foam it round like this then you use this a simple machine that we call a stapler this is a stapler and inside the stapler we have a pin we call this staple pin so we are going to staple it all around Are done that is the first step and then the next step is you have to go you have to cut the material or the leather if material that you are going to use or the leather you have to cut it you are going to measure from this okay like I said earlier on you see this type like I was saying after you finish forming it you have to cover it with a type of material that you are going to use it could be a leather or a fabric or anything at all. So you first you have to measure. You take your tape measure. You measure from end to end. From here, end to end, something like that. So from here you can see 17. So with this, you have to go and cut your material, either leather or a, a fabric. You are supposed to cut it straight. That is a 17. I'm going to measure 17 and cut it straight. I already have it. So you can see this is a 17. This is a 17. I've already cut it. Use scissors so after cutting. Cut. Now this is how we are going to do it. This is our 17 long. 